Hi guys, welcome back to another video. What I'm trying to show you today is how to use an insulation tester for testing uh, piezo crystal injectors. Okay, I suppose I'll turn it off and I'll show you from the very start. It's a laser insulation tester that I'm using here now. Um, the injectors, I have four injectors here out of a 2012 Ford Focus. Um, I have one one bad one in it, so I'm going to show you the difference between the good and the bad, okay? Right now, at this point in time, I'm connected up to a good one. What I'm going to show you is, I suppose, number one with the insulation tester, how to use it. If I couldn't, I didn't know to start with. So I turned it from off down to um, insulation test here you can actually see it wrote in small insulation 125 volts to a thousand volts i'm going to press range you can see up in the top corner here we have 500 volts i'm going to press range until i bring it down to 125 so 125 volts i'm going to go to okay <clears throat> now as i said it's already connected to a, a relatively good well it's not the one that was causing the problem we had an issue or at least fall codes for four injectors in this we changed all four injectors but there's one big prominent failure on one of them so i'm going to show the difference between these ones or this what we're classing as relatively good and not being a huge problem with them um and the very bad one okay so i'm going to press i'm going to hold it for about 10 seconds it's going to range actually that injector shorted out just there I don't know if you can see it, it pulled it down to, to sorry, 18 volts. I should have about 200 or 0 0.2 mega ohms on this, on a good injector. But I heard it inside that while I was moving it. And we have a problem definitely in that injector as well. That's what we have found on the other injector also here. So I'm going to show, I'll show that one also. And then maybe you will hit for an angle, but that one's definitely the same. 100% this injector is the same as the other one. We should, as I said, there have 0.2 mega ohms of resistance, which we're not getting at all. This is what we have marked X, this one here. And I'm going to go again. I'm going to hold the test or the insulate, insulate button for around 10 seconds, okay? One. Seven, eight, nine. I can hear that one shorted out or done something inside the now again. Pull down to eight volts and I have 0 0.001 mega ohms, which is wrong. That's a fail. That's why we have that one marked with an X. 100%. Now I didn't see that on this one, so I could be wrong. I was going to, I was only deeming one of them a fail and the other three a pass. But I'm gonna put that over here on the, the bad side. Now we're going to go in here again and we're, we'll are we test the injector number three. Okay. Back. Up we go again. Holding it. And I'm trying to hold it there. You can actually see. I'm going to hold it for about 10 seconds again. Okay. Go. You can see that holding at 135 volts up 124 volts up top we're at 0.197 just below the 0 0.2 mega ohms that is not a bad in a bad injector on the insulation test now what the insulation test is i believe only the electronic windings of it in here it's not testing needle or nozzle so we could have a misfire or you could have a misfire because of an injector but this test not be conclusive enough for your issue but right on on these injectors and what i'm trying to find our pinpoint is an insulation test you can go from one of the pins to the body also and i don't know i haven't found that test for me to be much good uh, right now i'm thinking that what I'm going is, I'm always just so far and I'm just checking between the two pins of the injectors. So here we're gonna go for number four, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
again it stayed at 134 volts but 0.197 mega ohms i'm saying that that's not so bad either but live on camera not that actual one but this one done the exact same thing as this injector could hear a noise out of the internals of it and my resistance that I should have had about 2.2 mega ohms was just zero so it was shorted out windings of gold two injectors are definitely faulty probably would explain for me why I had the four fault codes for four injectors what I was presuming was that one was actually failing internally and that then was making the ECU try and make up for a short that was happening to do with the injectors but I changed all four because they are quite a problem, common problem on a 12 or so forward focus but anyway that's if it's any good la laser insulation tester actually not too dear to buy um, just step by step on how to use it you can actually see again here where it's testing just in case anyone's worried or wondered wondering insulation negative and right here it's saying insulation positive. So it's these two pins if you're putting your connector blocks into it. What I find as well is the leads off a scope. This is only just me. Just because there's banana jacks on the end of them that you can pop in and out. These things are handy rather than the actual pointy pin probe of the insulation tester. But insulation testing uh, piezo crystal injectors. Guys, hope it's helpful to someone. Thanks for watching.